the ideas that dark matter encompasses an enormous percentage of the universe. Yes, it's five times as much matter, as, as dark matter, than is normal matter. Um, and the number is 25% of the universe. So roughly speaking, about 5% of the universe is normal matter, stars and gas. You know, 25% is dark matter. Yeah, so about, yeah, five is normal matter, about 25 is dark matter, and about 70 is dark energy. That's the other thing I was the other thing. about. Yeah. Yeah, so what the hell's that? Don't know. Uh, know what it does. So again, what, see, if we, go back, we, we talked about Einstein's theory earlier. So Einstein's theory, which works spectacularly well, says that if you put stuff into the universe, as we said before, then it warps and deforms and stretches. And it very precisely tells you, given the stuff that you put in it, how much does it stretch? And how does it stretch? And the, the measurement we have is how, how it's stretching. So, so we, we observe, the thing we observe is how the universe is expanding and how that expansion rate is changing and how it's, ex how it's changed over time. So we have very precise measurements of that. So then we can use the theory to tell us what's in it, given that we know what, how it's responding to that stuff. And that's how we discovered dark energy. So we notice that the universe's expansion rate is increasing. So the universe is accelerating in its expansion which is exactly the opposite of what we thought. And this is in the 1990s that we discovered that. So we can work out what sort of stuff and how much of that stuff you need to put in the universe to make that happen. And that's where we get these numbers from.